Hey, what's going on everybody? Play Better Paintball here. And a lot of you guys asked me last fall when I talked about how I was going to be using Ultra Silk and the Boom Juice. You asked me to do a review on it, let you guys know my thoughts. And that's what this video is about. This is just a quick overview of my experience using this stuff. I have wanted for months to come up with some way to do a really scientific uh, review of just how this compares to other lubricants on the market uh, but when I consider how many variables I would have to control to truly do this justice and really show you hard data on how one lube compares to ultra silk and the boom juice it's like impossible to try to do that so uh, I'm just gonna tell you what I have seen over the chronograph trying to use this stuff um, so I started using it around last like October, early November. Uh, it's currently late February. Um, I've used it on the XTS back there, the EMEC, the DM8, and I'm pretty sure I even put it in my Impulse. Uh, the only guns I've actually chronoed uh, and really like paid attention to consistency differences are the DM8, the EMEC, and the XTS. So three guns, all used more than once with the Ultra Silk and Boom Juice uh, and all of which I paid attention to using the old grease to see what is the difference in my experience. Um, again, there are a lot of variables to account for, so this is by no means supposed to tell you definitively this is what you will experience because it's going to depend on a lot of factors, number one being your paint quality. I don't have access to, nor can I really afford to play with, the best quality paint so that in and of itself should tell you that this is just my observation purely anecdotal that being said the very first time I used this it was uh, early November outside the first time I got to a chronograph anyway um, I'm at siege paintball which has an indoor field I was playing indoors the chronograph though was set up outside 100 yards away from the building on a windy below freezing day we go out to the chronograph and i'm like excited to see how this is going to look at the chronograph and i'm getting plus or minus like 10 to 15 and i mean up 10 or 15 down 10 or 15 from what's supposed to be just below 280 fps so we have to be below 280 which means i end up dialing in to shoot around 265 um, because some balls are going at it like 240 something or low 250s and then some are just under 280. However, I get into the fields, now we're indoors and we're using a handheld uh, and all of a sudden they chrono my gun three times and I thought it missed a ball because it went 274, 274, 276. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> uh, so that was my first experience using this stuff. Um, which immediately made me go, there's something to this. The next time that I went and chronographed and paid attention to what the differences were was my DM8. Uh, and the difference wasn't as close, um, but I would say it cut the differences in half. Once again, paint quality, I, I use the same paint quality all the time. I try to stay in a price range, and so I'm uh, with the I think I was using Dow, Dow 33 before switching to the Ultra Silk. Um, once again, getting plus or minus 10, 15 each direction. And then after the Ultra Silk, I noticed that I was dialing in more at like plus or minus five to eight, not quite 10, 15, but like at most 10, at most 10 in each direction. So, you know, plus or minus 10. Um, the EMEC. Uh, that's another one that I noticed a big difference was I just played a mech tournament with the EMEC and this is my second or third time playing uh, with Ultra Silk and going to the chronograph and noticing a difference so this is just my most recent memory of noticing a difference and once again at the outdoor chronograph I was getting plus or minus 10 15 it was once again freezing outside uh, we'd been indoors, the outdoor chronograph is obviously outside, so very different conditions, you know, at the chronograph. And I feel like these outdoor chronographs, if it's at freezing or below, the electronics, I just don't think are working that well. But indoors, going on the field, I got pulled to randomly chronograph a couple times, and I can remember the second time in particular, it was like, 
I think it was 260s. I was trying to make sure we didn't get a hot gun, so I was dialing down. So I was in the 260s, and once again, it was like 264, 265, but it did it twice, 264, 264, 266. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> I I am never gonna use another gun lube unless Caesar Piso comes out with something better because I'm just telling you, I am noticing a difference. Now I'm not hearing a difference, I'm not feeling a difference, but at the chronograph, I am seeing a difference. So take that for what it's worth. Um, something that is very different than this lube than anything else you'll lose, or use, excuse me, excuse me, um, is you have to shake it. Like if I open this up right now, I can't really point at the camera. Yeah, there's, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but there's some liquid, it's not a lot, but there's some liquid sitting on top of the Ultra Silk. So you do want to shake it, it all of a sudden, you know, almost magically uh, disappears after shaking it for just like five or 10 seconds. The Boom Juice, same thing. Uh, there's some residue that you'll see at the bottom of it. After you shake it, it basically disappears. I mean, there's gonna be a little bit of this white residue on the bottom after shaking it. It says to shake really well, and I do find that this has to be shaken more for it to mix up a little bit, but no, oh, it all disappeared. Hopefully that's in focus. But yeah, that's the big difference, and I'm gonna guess that it's because of those viscosity and texture differences as to why this works so well. Uh, Caesar says, do not use this on your regulators, and I have not. Um, it's only supposed to go on the bolt O-rings, and this is only supposed to go on the dynamic O-rings. Um, and it is slicker than anything I've ever used. Uh, it almost feels like it's not gonna seal as well because I'm used to having such thick grease stuck to all the O-rings. Um, he says less is more when you use this. You wanna apply as little as possible. Um, and yeah, it, it seems like it's, I guess, magic for the O-rings. Um, they seal very well. I have, I have zero leak issues, no first shot drop off, nothing so yeah i mean he knows what he's talking about I, I did a podcast with bud Orr. bud Orr said caesar knows what he's talking about in this new boom treatment the full heat uh process thing that he's doing on aluminum parts now like he said that is like the next generation in lubrication technology and a new frontier in paintball so Bud Orr says Caesar knows what he's talking about. I don't speak this language. I don't know anything about this technology and why things are better than others. All I'm telling you is that it's a little bit more expensive than other lube that you will buy, but it seems to work. It seems to hold up to its promises. So again, take that for what it's worth. Hope that helps you guys and hope all of you are out there having a good off season, getting ready for things to warm up and kick off for the new year. Hopefully 2023 is gonna be a great one for you, obviously. Hope it's a great one for me too, but got some more videos on the way. I was finally able to get to the gym yesterday, actually. Uh, I got 10 minutes of footage that I plan on putting together into a YouTube video to talk more about fitness, which is what this channel is all about. It's what my expertise are all about. Sorry I haven't had more of those, but it's been one crazy winter with kids and getting sick, so uh, we're finally on the tail end of that, it seems like, knock on wood. Uh, so we should be able to get some more high quality fitness paintball content out to you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stick around. I promise it's going to be worth your time and your subscription. So thanks for all the support. Like, share, comment, follow, subscribe. Vince, shout out to you, bud. Hope the job search is going well. Uh, yeah. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon.